we're live on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, we're live. We're live. Okay, so I am excited to kick off this next this 30 minute segment of I See Bright with two incredible guest speakers. Guys, I was on the phone with somebody today who is a medical, medical, medical person, and they were just all jacked up and excited that we have all of our studies on PubMed with ProTandem, right? And I'm just, we are drawing in the most amazing medical people from all over. And I just feel so honored to be in their circles. These are people who are, they, they understand so much more than I ever will. And I just believe it at that. So tonight we have two incredible ladies that have an amazing presentation for you. And I'm gonna just, I'll start by introducing um, Joanne Shear Parkin. If you do not know this woman, um, oops, she, she's, uh, she's on here. I'm going to pull up my, I'm here. You're here. You're here. I'm trying to find my notes to edify you girl. Oh, that's okay. I, I can introduce <laughs> myself. <laughs> okay. She can introduce herself. She's yeah. an amazing woman and everything she says is incredibly brilliant. She's like a walking encyclopedia for pubmed.gov and, um, her and Dr. Amy Leverant are going to share the next 30 yeah. minutes with you. So, okay, Amy, um, I'll, I'll have to share my screen to, uh, Amy and I put together a few slides just to help us, uh, you know, visually help move this along. So let's see, let's see if I can share my screen. There we go, thank you. Thank you, Amy. We'll get some slides up and we're gonna get going here. Let's do this real quick. Slideshow, okay. All right, and Amy, I know Amy is on, Amy Leverance, so. Um, we are uh, really happy to have Amy, you know, tonight and to join us. This is just really so wonderful that, you know, that we have uh, someone of uh, her caliber to, to uh, help share and educate us about the IC Bright by Life Antige. So I think we're going to uh, kick it off here with her. I think most of you know who I am. Um, I'm Joanne Shear Park, a registered dietitian nutritionist. You know, I've been with the business for a while. Um, oh my goodness, it'll be 11 years in, um, it, uh, in January. So um, it's just been absolutely wonderful. And I think that uh, one thing that I just love, love, love about Life Antage because um, I'm a science-based professional, Amy is too. And you know, for us, it's, it's really all about the confidence in the science, right? I think most people that use our products, they wanna know if they work, right? They want to feel better, do more, right? So, you know, so, so we're kind of like into the science. So what we're going to do tonight, what Amy and I are going to do is that um, we're just going to try to build belief, guys. I think I'm hoping that when we get done tonight, that you're going to really, your belief in this new product is just going to be expanded, right? So you're just going to want to run out and tell everybody about um, IC Bright. But I am going to um, get start, Amy. I think I'm going to have you hop on and uh, um, to just tell people a little bit about your background, who you are, and uh, why Life Antich. So take it away, Amy. Oh, hello. Thank you so much, Joanne. Um, it's a pleasure. I, I am a pediatric ophthalmologist. I have been in practice for 30 years. I recently retired. Um, and have joined Life Vantage for the last 15 months. And I was brought in by, um, oh, I have to tell you that I was told about nutrigenomics and NRF2 by a um, mother of three of my patients. And um, so don't ever be worried about talking to doctors about this because we don't know everything. We know about oxidative stress, but um, a lot has happened since we graduated from medical school. But yeah, I'm very, very happy to be here. But I do, I want to jump in because we don't really have a lot of time. So I thought it'd be really useful to talk about the eye a little bit because a lot of people don't know and you're going to be hearing some of these terms. You're going to be hearing um, us talk about this. And so I think you should know about this. And I think it's not always, all, always obvious that the eye were, is hugely affected by oxidative stress. People don't think about it, but it accumulates all the... Um, damaging effects of oxidative stress accumulates over a lifetime, just like it does in every organ of our body. Uh, the imbalance of uh, free radicals does damage to the DNA, to, to tissues, to lipids, to proteins, and it causes 
inflammation at the root of everything as we always talk about. So inflammation and damage and disease. The eye is particularly vulnerable because of exposure. It's a huge target. I mean, think about it. The eye is right out there in front, not like your kidney or your liver that's buried deep in your body. So it's exposed to um, light. It's exposed to high pressures of oxygen. It's exposed to radiation, temperature, wind, chemicals, pollutants, and of course, bacteria and viruses. And so what I do when I talk about oxidative stress, I like to talk from the front of the eye to the back of the eye. And um, then we'll talk a little, then we'll go into the uh, I see bright and white. It targets every part of the eye. And first of all, I have to also want to tell you that I think the company hit it out of the park with this product. There is just no question in my mind. It was so well thought out. It was so well researched. I can't be more excited about what's in this. There's a precedent for all of these in, in ingredients and you can feel really, really confident about it. Let me, let me go back, um, Joanne, just to the front. Okay, so I wanna talk about first about dry eyes because for me, this is one of the biggest um, uh, benefits of this product in many, many ways. Dry eyes is huge. It's one of the biggest complaints in uh, as a general ophthalmologist, uh, the root of dry eyes is inflammation. Every, all the oxidative stress, all the free radicals cause damage to the tissues, to the cells that have an impact on the quality and the quantity of our tears. Our tears have vitamin C and, and um, glute, lots of vitamin C, lots of glutathione. So you know that that's important for starting out with um, reducing oxidative stress. The cornea is the clear tissue over the colored part of the eye. And the cornea uh, absorbs 92% of UVB radiation. We're going to talk about a lot about blue light, but UV is really important because the front of the eye is what filters out the UV light, which is also very high energy and very damaging. So the, the cornea and all layers of the cornea has a lot of vitamin C, a lot of glutathione, and it's also exposed to everything else that the environment wants to throw at it. The um, going past the cornea into the, uh, into the eye. Um, I don't know how many people have heard about glaucoma, what glaucoma is. People confuse glaucoma and cataracts and macular degeneration, but glaucoma is a disease when the pressure in the eye is too high for the health of the optic nerve. So the eye is a, uh, it's a very delicate balance of fluid production for nutrients and the health of the eye, but it also has to drain out. So it's, it's a fine balance. So the trabecular meshwork is an area, and I don't have the luxury of a pointer, but it's the corner of where the iris and the, cor the lens meet. And it's like, the, it's like the sieve of your drain in your sink and it drains the fluid. And oxidative stress causes damage to the DNA um, in the mitochondria, which causes scarring in the trabecular meshwork which prevents the outflow. So that's when the pressure goes up. Also, when the pressure goes up in the eye, it affects the circulation of the eye. And um, when that happens, um, that creates a lot of free radicals and inflammation as well. So next, um, behind the iris, the colored part of the eye is the lens and, and uh, cataracts are what form when the lens gets cloudy. So ultraviolet light, causes actual oxidation of proteins and other compounds in the lens to create a cataract or a cloudiness of the lens. We, there's a lot of glutathione, there's um, a, a superoxide dismutase in the lens to try to keep it clear. But as, as we all age, we're all gonna get a cataract eventually, but maybe we can slow it down with the icy bright. So that's critically important. So then you go past into the, the back of the eye, you have the vitreous cavity, which has a jelly substance in it. Um, a lot of vitamin C is located in the, in the, in the vitreous, which is a, is a jelly that uh, is mostly water and hyaluronic acid. Then we get to the, the back of the eye, the retina, um, where you see the macula on the back of the eye there, the, the, the eye, the retina is like a, target with a bullseye. 
Think of it that way. So the closer you get to the center of the retina, which is the macula, that's the highest level of acuity. That's where we, that's where we see. And when we talk about the macula, that's where we're gonna talk about the, um, the lutein and the zeaxanthin. That's where it's gonna collect and that's where it's gonna do the filtering, the blue light. We're gonna get into that. But the retina has 200 million specialized nerve cells. And it's it basically the retina is an extension of the brain. So just like the brain, it has it's very subject to oxidative stress because it's high. It has a high oxygen consumption and high uh, lipid content. So uh, one of the things where we talk about a lot is macular degeneration, and macular degeneration is a, a disease. It's the it's the most common um, disease that causes blindness over the age of 65. So well before I see bright came out, we knew that um, cigarette smoking was uh, highly um, toxic to the retina, producing free radicals and oxidative stress. We knew that people who didn't have a very good diet and fruits and vegetables had a higher risk of having macular degeneration and um, that uh, omegas, lutins, um, antioxidants, uh, we're all, and omegas are all protective um, for macular de degeneration. So let's go on. Oh, I just wanted to spend a little bit quick um, bit on uh, dry eyes, just so that you get to know um, where all these products in uh, the IC Bright really help. So the first, the tear film actually is, is three layers. You have the, the, the layer closest to the eye is called the mucin layer. And that's produced by the goblet cells. This area of, of interest in this area, this, this is the first layer of the tear film. And um, in third world countries, vitamin A deficiency will lead to a deficiency in this mucin layer and that, that can cause blindness. So vitamin A here is, is super, super important. The next layer is the aqueous layer. That's the watery component that's produced by our lacrimal glands. And our lacrimal glands are up underneath the, um, in the orbit, in the outer part of the orbit. So what's important about that is the vitamin D that's put into our uh, product helps with sec the secretion from the lacrimal gland. Also that aqueous component has a lot of vitamin C and glutathione. And the mabobian glands, they are absolutely critical for dry eyes. And um, they, because they produce a, um, a, a fatty lipid layer that is dependent on good omegas, good omegas and also vitamin D is very, very important here. So, okay. So blue light, what is blue light? So that's the buzzword, right? So blue light is like ultraviolet, it's really close to ultraviolet light in that uh, visual, um, the, spectrum of, visual, of visible light. It's very close. So it's a very short wavelength. It's very, very high energy. It's about a third of the um, visible spec spectrum. Um, it comes from the sun. We get it from LED lights. We get it from um, uh, obviously our digital devices as well, but uh, fluorescent and LED lights. It is. It does have benefits. So it's, it is the light that you get, as you probably know, during the middle of the day. So it is, is um, short wavelength. So it comes during the middle of the day and that's why the, the, the sky is blue, but it's important because it improves our mood. It, it gets us activated. It um, improves our reaction time, our attention. So we need that blue light. But, um, oh, and it also regulates our um, sleep-wake cycle. So when there's a lot of blue light out in the middle of the day, it, it reduces, and you've, you've heard this a lot, the melatonin production. So, and that's the connection with the blue light from our digital devices is in the middle of the night, we're getting all this blue light, reduces melatonin production. So instead of getting sleepy, we're activated in the middle of the night and that's, that's disruptive. So um, a couple things that, uh, we need to talk about is when we talk about eye strain and as we talk about, talk about this to our customers or people that are interested in our products, I think eye strain 
is very multifactorial. And I say that because there's a lot, of, a lot of things that feed into it and people don't really know what you mean by eye strain. But I would, I would say that a few things come to my mind when I think of that, which we can apply to our product. And that is contrast sensitivity. Contrast sensitivity, um, blue, what, what happens with blue light is it, it scatters light and it defocuses things. So when you have that, it's fatiguing. It's really fatiguing. And so that's one, one component. Another component is actual dry eyes. When we're staring at computers, and, I, and, and this, is, this is known, we, our blink rate goes way down. And when, we, when we're not blinking, we get the dry eyes. And when you get dry eyes, because of the evaporation, you're going to get redness. You're going to get um, tearing, excessive tearing, because your eye is irritated. You'll get um, a foreign body sensation. You'll get just irritated eyes. And so that, and it could decrease your vision because of the blurring and because of the poor tear film. And so all those contribute to um, not only disrupted vision, but fatigue. And the third thing I think is important to keep in mind is um, mental fatigue. Because when we're when we've been doing this and we concentrate for so long, we just get tired and, and it sort of is reflected in our eyes, I would say. So we know about disrupted sleep and uh, brain fog and oxidative stress from the, the blue light hitting the very central part of our retina and causing free radical damage. But I think, Joanne, I think you wanna take it from here. You bet. Okay, so thank you, Amy. Thank you, that that's, was a great, uh, great background of the anatomy of the eye so that we could understand now why uh, our product, uh, our new product, IC Bright, is uh, so important uh, for, you know, addressing all of those, uh, you know, problems. And um, so this is, uh, you know, I thought, you know, maybe so, like some of you, you know, maybe you thought, you know, I'm taking that Pertandum Nerf 2, you know, I'm protected from that oxidative stress in my eyes because we know that eyes have high oxygen levels. And, um, you know, I never thought about an eye health product, product, you know, because I'm thinking, oh, you know, I've got, I've got Pertandum Nerf 2. But more I'm learning about icy bright, you know, I guess I've been hearing about the blue light and how, how harmful and damaging it was. Um, and um, I thought, you know, maybe I need some of those blue light blockers. But, you know, what icy bright is and the way that I think of it is it's kind of like an internal uh, blue light blocker because uh, the, the two primary uh, ingredients, and I should say maybe that the, the foundation of icy bright are these uh, carotenoids, lutein and zeaxanthin, that are found, we, we get them in our diet. They're very high in uh, leafy green uh, vegetables of all kinds, leafy greens of all kinds, kale, spinach, um, you know, beet greens, all of the greens are super high in uh, these nutrients. Another reason for all of us to be eating our greens, right? Uh, you know, of course we'd think of carrots, uh, you know, summer squash, there's other sources, broccoli, uh, cauliflower. Um, but those are some of the sources of uh, these carotenoids. But we just don't really get enough of them in our diet because our environment, like we learned with uh, oxidative stress, right? You know, you just kind of like you can't eat enough vegetables or take enough vitamin C to combat that oxidative stress because of our environment we live in, right? On planet Earth, we're so bombarded with oxidative stress. And it's kind of the same thing with our, I see the same thing with our eyes. You know, we were not getting creatives to be it's sitting in front of computers and getting all this blue, excessive blue light. Like Dr. Amy was saying, it's like a little, you know, we need some of that blue light is a good thing, but this is way too much. Um, and what's really cool is that these carotenoids, they absorb 90% of the blue light. And that's, these carotenoids get concentrated in the macula, right? Um, the back, way back in the back of the eye. And so that's where you get like that sunscreen for the eyes, your internal um, blue light blockers. And they have a number of uh, benefits for the eyes. Um, you know, I've been reading a lot of research here recently about them um, and just, uh, just improving that contrast sensitivity uh, that Dr. Amy was talking about. And how about this, reduce eye fatigue. How many of you are suffering from that um, I know I get that by the end of the day. I know every one of you, I know is gonna get a great benefit from this. And there are some additional nutrients. So that's the kind of the foundation 
are the, is the carotenoids. And then um, I, I, I love it what, uh, when we were at kind of the way the docs meeting, you know, at convention. And um, I love it when um, Dr. Nancy Bryan said that, you know, when these supplements are created, every ingredient is in there for a reason and has a really important purpose. And that is the same thing with IC Bright. Uh, it, again, it's, it's like the synergy of nutrients and helping to provide this tremendous protection. So there's some zinc in there and some copper. And these are the cofactor nutrients required for the antioxidant enzymes. Think superoxide dismutase, right? That's important. Um, and that's a component of our eyes as well. And what's really cool about IC Bright versus what I have seen, what I'm seeing from some of the competitors out there is that those competitors out there have uh, zinc uh, oxide and copper oxide which are very poorly absorbed. In fact, I was reading some research that said some people don't absorb any zinc oxide. I mean, zinc oxide is great for sunscreen, right? I bet you all are, you, you know, that white zinc oxide you put on for sunscreen. Yeah, it's, it's great on the outside, but it's not so good on the inside. It doesn't get absorbed. And I was looking, the number one selling um, eye product out there has zinc oxide and copper oxide, right? So you can see right now, is that when you're looking at IC Bright and our, what we have, think quality, right? Think quality. And that's what I'm seeing. So that's that highly absorbable form of gluconate. And then um, I think, and then the omegas, um, and, and, and uh, Dr. Amy, do you want to talk a little bit about the omegas and the vitamin E? Because you, you referenced that, especially the omegas, um, when you're talking about the eye, um, you know, components of yeah. the eye. Well, the omegas are, are, are highly um, anti-inflammatory, so they have effects all throughout the eye because everything is so related to inflammation. They improve uh, nerve conductivity because remember the brain has a high lipid comp uh, component to it as well as vitamin E. So both of those help with nerve conductivity um, and they promote, the omegas promote healthy, healthy tears. Yeah. So absolutely, absolutely critical. Yes. And one thing too, um, you know, um, you know, Dr. Amy, you were uh, talking about, you know, like with the omegas is that it's the DHA that's the critical, uh, yeah. yeah, omega, right? And so what's really interesting is that um, we have also had higher DHA in our product than uh, our, our eye product than what I have seen. And also, do you know that our omega uh, product or omega plus is also higher in DHA than actually in EPA. So when you're thinking about the omegas, um, you think about um, EPA for the brain, and now we're learning how important omegas are. Uh, EPA for the heart, excuse me, the EPA for the heart and the DHA for the brain and the eyes, because our brain and eyes are so connected, isn't that cool? Um, so then the vitamin C and vitamin D, um, do you wanna talk about those, Dr. Eddie? Well, vitamin C is, as we talked about, is all throughout the eye as, as a huge uh, antioxidant. It's really important in collagen production in the, as Brian Dixon talked about in um, the cornea. Uh, it's, it's also important for wound healing. So if you ever get a corneal abrasion or something like that, it's very, very important right. for that purpose too. Right. And um, the vitamin D has a couple effects, as I, as I told you, it uh, works within the lacrimal gland to help promote the secretion of the watery component, that watery part of the tears, very, very important. There's some autoimmune disorders that, uh, that affect the lacrimal gland that lead to a dry eye. I can't tell you how bad dry eyes are. I mean, it, it affects the quality of life tremendously in people. It's very uncomfortable and, I, and I've had that as well. Um, and then vitamin D is also important for the mobobian glands for the tear film. So yeah. it's just, all of these things are just, it's just, they're just hitting it out of the park with this. Yes, they I'm, are. Just, I'm so excited. I really yes. am. Me too. Oh, awesome. And of course, last, but certainly not least is the bilberry, which is the wild blueberry. And uh, this is, is, I've been reading about, it. I've been pulling some of the studies because I've not really been, I'm not familiar with this uh, particular extract, but of course it's been around, you know, wild blueberry, blue, bilberry has been around for actually centuries, you know, um, and uh, so people have used it to enhance eye health for all those years, but you know, um, now there's the research on it 
And um, I was looking at, you know, a lot of the recent, three of the studies I looked at were that were actually uh, conducted in Japan. And this is what they found. I mean, uh, protective effects from blue light, from the blue light can help to reduce that mental fatigue. Because we know that the, from you saw from what uh, Dr. Amy was talking about when you saw the anatomy of the eye and how closely our eyes are connected to our brain and that optic nerve, right? Um, and improved tear film as well. Um, anything else about wild blueberry, the bilberry, uh, Dr. Amy? Yeah, bilberry is, is really, really interesting. When I first started looking at it, I saw a lot of things about night blindness and, and how it's supposed to help with night vision and that sort of thing. And at first, I think there were, um, you know, there was research on both sides, quite frankly. But there's some interesting research that's coming out that, that shows that what bilberry actually does, well, two things, the, the macular pigment, the, the zeaxanthin and the, uh, the lutein are important also for night vision. There's studies that show that it um, uh, supplements and helps with night vision, but the bilberry actually helps the regeneration of, there's a, a receptor protein on our, in our cells, on the, in the rods of our cells, we have uh, retinal cells that are called rods and cones and rods are important for night vision. And it actually helps with the regeneration of the rhodopsin, which is a, which for us, you know, geeky eye people, it's really fascinating because it actually helps with the regeneration of that um, receptor protein. So that would make a lot of sense why it may wow. really help with night vision. Yes, I could use that. Yes, wonderful. Okay, so just um, and to summarize, to, you know, we're going to look at the benefits of icing, right? You know, we know what the nutrients are, and we know what the nutrients, and we've talked about, you know, we've talked about the individual nutrients that are in IC Bright. Uh, but, it, you know, I guess um, when I was looking at it, and I, I watched, uh, you know, Dr. Brian Dixon's presentation from um, convention, and I kind of summarized it into these four categories of benefit. Um, so it's this, uh, I, this uh, blue light protection, right? Um, the internal sunglasses that, you know, kind of like blocking the blue light and then reducing the oxidative stress as well. Um, better sleep, better vision, better brain. So um, that, I, to me, that kind of, kind of helped to, to, for me to wrap my brain around that. So I want, I need a better brain right now. So, uh, so uh, Dr. Amy, do you want to elaborate a little more on uh, what you, what you see there as far as the benefits? Well, um, the, the sleep, of course, the absorption of blue light, absolutely the better vision. Uh, again, I'm going to reiterate this, the, the contrast sensitivity, I would say if people are asking, well, how does it improve your vision? I, I would, I would say there's studies on contrast sensitivity, um, the, perhaps the night vision. Remember that the improving dry eyes, I keep harping on that, but I'm telling you, it, the tear film is critical for, for dry eyes. We also think that it, we talked about nerve conductivity. So um, could yeah. this improve the speed of the electrical signals um, that go from the eye to the brain? that may improve our uh, reaction time. You know, I think that's, you know, yet to be, be seen. Um, but, but also, also the, um, am I still on? <laughs> I still are, you're going, keep going. I, I lost everything. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I was gonna say about the brain fog, you know, anything that, that helps with neuroinflammation, the, the, the inflammation in, in our nervous system, and this, these products are hugely antioxidant or uh, oxidative and, and hugely anti-inflammatory. So that's why we can talk about um, brain function as well with, with memory and, and attention right. and concentration and focus. So I think you're gonna see a lot of benefit with that. And I think that's gonna help with the fatigue aspect. Okay, I, I can use all of that, especially seeing faster. You know, I'm a pickleballer, so I'm, I'm, I'm really anxious to see what it's gonna do for my pickleball. <laughs> <laughs> I can move fast. I'm not sure I'm seeing fast though. Gotta watch that little ball come at me, you know? So what I did then uh, just, you know, as well to summarize the benefits um, is that I went to the, to the Life Vantage website. And this is one thing that I, really recommend everybody do. And it's when, when, it's, when, anytime there's a new product that launches, what you wanna do is you wanna go to the 
to the Life Vantage website and read everything on that site. Read the Q and A's, read about the, uh, the product information sheets, read those and get familiar with what you can say and not say, because all of the terms and all of the, the benefits and what we can say about our products, you will have, you'll find the exact terminology that you can use when you're promoting our products or when you're you know, posting, especially if you're posting on social media, right? We have to be really compliant with that. So this is what I pulled right off the, the website about the benefits. Um, and it really summarizes just what uh, Dr. Amy and I have been talking about, right? About what does this product really, how, what does it really do for our eye health? And it's actually, actually helps our brain too, right? Dr. Amy, it helps our brain too. Um, oh, absolutely. Because, you, you know, it helps that mental fatigue. And so how many of us all need that? I mean, we're really, many of us are still, you know, many people out there that life is you're still working. You know, you just really have busy lives. So um, we have some, we have, this is, real, this is really exciting because we, our company uh, came out with these stacks and now we have the eye essential stack. So do you see the brilliance everybody with combining the Protandum Nerf 2 with the Omega Plus, with the IC Bright now that you, you know what you know from listening to Dr. Amy about the eye and about these nutrients? Um, I think that I, I think of it as um, you know, like pretandum nerf too, uh, so potent at lowering that oxidative stress because so much of that, not only do we get oxidative stress, of course, from our environment, but you know, our cells generate and create a lot of free radicals. So it's that oxidative stress, that in, internal oxidative stress from our cellular and, uh, oxidative stress. And I look at IC Bright as being that next layer of like, the blue light, which our, our eyes are never designed really, I don't think to, right, Dr. Amy, do you really think that we were really designed to try to, our eyes to handle that much blue light? No, I don't. Right. I, and so not, that's why- Not from our devices and how much time we spend on the computer these days. Right. And so, starting at a young age too. Starting at a young age, exactly. Um, so really our company says that our product is for um, you know, individuals that are 18 plus, because it really, you know, Icy Bright hasn't been studied in younger children. And so I think um, the nutrients and, and here would be safe for children, but we follow our company guidelines, right? So, so I just wanted to kind of end in the last uh, five, 10 minutes that we have, I just want to talk about a little bit about the marketing of Icy Bright. Use the ITT system, right? Invite tool team. So invite, it can be so simple. Um, something like this. Are you concerned about the negative effects of all that blue light we get from our digital devices? Me too, but I found a solution. It's working for me. If I sent you a short video, would you take a look? So see how simple that can be. Um, you don't need to know, like, you know, we, we threw out a lot of uh, kind of some new terms and technical terms and how all these nutrients work. But basically, we're doing this, of course, for you because I would, I would hope that after you're done tonight and listening to us, that your belief is going to be like huge about, you know, this product, like you're going to run over to your counter and you're going to take your IC break. Um, so, but use the tools, what you have in your, in your, in your phone. Oh, this app is amazing. I went and looked at everything in the app and it's awesome. There's two videos there. There's uh, social media sh uh, shareables and your monthly marketing playbook as well. And then get somebody on a third party call with an upline and say, hey, can you, do you know other people in your family that could really use this? You know, who do you know that could, who do you know that needs this? Well, probably everybody actually, anybody that's got a device or spends time on their devices, right? Um, I thought it was interesting at convention that uh, Dr. Brian Dixon said that 50% of uh, the eye health products uh, market out there is younger people. You know, because we usually think of um, eye disease as a diseases of old people, right? Um, I don't have any of those. Thank you, uh, Partanum Nerf 2. I do have eye strain. I get dry eyes. I have those other problems related to too much blue light. Guess right? where all the birds went? All so, the hands. Somebody, oh. Oh, oh, can you mute your mic, please? Somebody's gonna, <laughs> thank you. Um, so, 
I think we're going to end with, uh, I got uh, some people lined up to tell some stories. So I have Jim, Tanya, and Marcy. So Jim, are you there? Do you want to unmute your line and tell us your story? Okay, I'm here. Are you here? Okay. I have my husband on. He's got a story <laughs> of everybody. Okay, tell your story, Jim, because this is, you know, product, what is it? Uh, facts tell, so, story sell, right? So let's, let's hear some stories. Okay, take it away, Jim. Okay, like Joe, I'm a pickleball player also. And the, the one thing I've noticed since taking uh, IC break is, is faster reaction on the pickleball court. And I wasn't expecting this, but I think it's, it comes from uh, uh, my ability to, to pick up the uh, reaction of the ball and, and identify the trajectory of the ball when it comes, comes off against my opponent's paddle. And of course, if you can uh, shorten the time that it takes to identify the trajectory, it, uh, it helps you, you, gives you more time to move to the ball. Uh, I, I've noticed, especially in uh, uh, playing close to uh, the opponents uh, where the ball is coming back very fast yeah. and fat, real fast reaction is required. Um, that's not why I, I, I started taking IC Bright. The reason I took it was because I understood that it reduced the oxidative stress in the eye. And uh, I've been on Pertanum for eight years now, and it's given me excellent results. And I figured anything that reduces the oxidative stress more yeah. uh, in any of the organs would be a good thing. That's great, Jim. Awesome. Thank you for sharing your story, Jim. Um, next, we have Tanya. Tanya Sheldon, take Jim, it Jim, will you remind us how old you are? How young you are? How young are you, Jim? I'll be 83 in December. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Yay. And Yay. Yay. And I love you. Yeah. So good. <laughs> you would great. kill me. I keep up with those, little, those young guys, those <laughs> 60 and 70 year olds. <laughs> no, I don't ever want to meet you on a pickleball court. You would take me down in no time. Yeah, I'll make mine quick and then I'm going to turn it over to my distributor, Marcy, here in Idaho as well, who has a phenomenal story. I just want to say, like, when a new product comes out, <laughs> I am typically the girl that never feels anything. Like, I just never do. But I'm going to take it because I know the science is real and I want to be proactive. But with this eye stuff, I was like, oh, okay, that's great. I just, I, I don't know, it's like eye stuff, but anyway, okay. I have a lot of floaters and I just, I just don't see them now. I hate driving at night. I haven't minded driving at night since I've been on this. And none of this I realized until someone else shared their story. And then I was like, oh my gosh, me too. So floaters. And then I just feel like in the end, I feel like I have better contacts and they're the same contacts I've ever, I've always had. But it just feels like they fit better. I don't feel like I'm like adjusting them as much. So it must mean that I had some dry eye and that is not as bad either. Everything just feels crisper Already. and clearer. So that's my story. So Marcy. That's awesome. Yes. And just wait till after you've been on it for longer to Tanya. So you no, know, I can't wait. And, and tell us about and introduce it to Marcy. Yes, Marcy, are you? I know she's on here. Just yes, get, I'm, I'm on. on. Okay, perfect. Share your story. Okay, so um, I have had a just lifelong issues with my eyes. At five years old, I was diagnosed with, um, I can't think of the medical term. I'm sure Dr. Amy knows, but it, uh, severe uh, nearsightedness. And I also had a lazy eye. And... <clears throat> That was my left eye and I had to be patched for that. Um, growing, I stayed in glasses for a while. And then of course, contact lenses were kind of the thing. And so I went to contact lenses, but always have struggled a little bit with wearing those just because of the dry eye that I also developed when I got Sjogren's. <laughs> and then, um, let's see, oh, pregnancy happened. And as if the stretch marks weren't enough, um, the kids left me with an astigmatism that's pretty severe in the left eye. Um, and 
So obviously without contact lenses or my glasses, I cannot see anything. And I really resent my husband for having 20-20 vision because he, it, he can just roll over and look at the clock and know what time it is. And I need to like search for my glasses and put them on anyway. Also developed um, significant floaters. And while most people can ignore those, I can see them and I'll follow them. <laughs> um, so I started taking the IC bra. I was super excited for this product just because of all my eye issues. Mm -hmm. And I started taking it um, the day it was launched at Global. And then, so fast forward to today, and um, I can't really find my floaters anymore. Um, the, I actually didn't notice this just last night, but the night driving, definitely less glare. That's still something in progress. Um, the, and my dry eye was the biggest thing because anyone that with dry eye is trying to wear contacts, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like sandpaper sometimes and the fatigue sets in really quick. And with, you know, all the, I mean, you guys know the technology, the screens, the phones, um, and obviously doing life manage for my app <laughs> um, takes a toll. And, um, and when some, I think it was Joanne and Amy both mentioned the sleep. I totally realized that on this call, I've been sleeping like a baby since awesome. I got home from Global. And I thought it was because yeah. I was exhausted from Global, yeah. but I think it's from the icy bright. <laughs> Great, well, we're, that's awesome, Marcy. So you're already seeing benefits. So like I said too, just think after, you know, after you've been on the product for a while, I mean, just think in the, in the, in the next month, the month after, and um, just how much better all of that is going to get. I mean, I'm already, I'm really warmed by that. So, you know, um, uh, so I think that uh, I, I just really, I'm going to think I'm going to turn it over to Amy. I uh, think Amy, you're going to wind this down and um, end this program for us. And I, first of all, I just really, really want to say thank you, Dr. Amy Leverant, ophthalmologist, pediatric ophthalmologist, for, uh, for being on here tonight and just educating us and, and uh, you know, uh, offering your expertise. We're so grateful and thank you. I thank you so, so much. It's my pleasure. Yeah, you guys knocked it out of the park. Thank oh. you so much. Thank you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end this recording and um, the amazing Tanya is going to start our third Zoom for